Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to make a quick video, just kind of check in. Um, it's been a little while since I made a video, so I um, just thought I would share what I've gotten over the past couple weeks. Uh, it's not a whole lot. Um, I have kind of slowed down since since the kilo, um, which has been really hard to do, seeing all these unboxings and spot price being where it's at, but um, got to do what i got to do for now. Um, but, yeah, anyway, and two things here. Sorry I picked the worst lit room in the house to do this video, but I already got it all set up. I don't feel like going anywhere else now. But I am in the process of moving a lot of my stuff, so um, I've got all my silver out right now, so I thought I would put it out for the video. Um, but, yeah, anyway, uh, junk silver, I picked up another dollar face. Um, including um, my first barber dime. It's pretty slicked up, but uh, let's see if I can get it to focus. Pretty slicked up, but I didn't have one. I thought it was kind of cool. I haven't even really seen one in my local coin shop. Um, so I thought I would get it. But, yeah. There's that. Um, moving on to this crap. I'm very torn about this stuff right now, but um, we'll see how it goes. And the purchase I made was kind of dumb, but um, it's another copper round. Um, I, I kind of like the one that's there. I think they definitely have some collectability to them, and if this stuff is worth more than silver like it is right now um, you know in a couple of years it might be a good thing that I've got it we'll see but um, I got one of the, the Freedom Girl copper rounds um, I was kinda of scouring eBay on the the buy it now and newly listed and I ended up actually getting this for six bucks um, which for how much these copper rounds are going for, I thought it was a, a good deal. It's definitely not a good deal for an ounce of copper, but um, I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. I think, I don't know, the last couple designs that Chris has put out, he's back making coins again. Um, he's got Warbird has been released and Love has been released. I actually ordered a couple of the Warbirds. Um, but now I've placed that order, and I don't know if I really want to buy any more of this stuff. Um, when I first got into silver stacking, there wasn't really a whole lot of drama going on with all this, and I thought it would be cool to try to jump in, and originally there were supposed to be 30 coins released, um, and I definitely thought it would be a good idea to try and get all of them and have the whole series and make it worth a little bit more than silver if I tried to sell it. But with all the crap that's gone on, I really don't know if it's going to be worth, you know, five years from now, if it's going to be worth it. So, I don't know. But, we'll see. So that's that. Um, moving on to my Canadian stuff. I've seen a couple videos recently of this coin in particular being unboxed, and I couldn't take any more. I had to get one. Um, which I know is... I feel kind of dumb when I buy one coin and then pay for shipping for it, but that's really all I can afford right now, I guess, but it is the, the Canadian Maple, uh, the Snake Privy, with kind of that reverse proof look. I really like this. I really like the the reverse look of it and the the frosted look around the outside. I think it's a freaking awesome looking coin. Um, so I had to get one. I really would like to have a tube of them and I look at the prices on like Atmex to buy a tube and it is ridiculous. Um, this I think the last time I looked it was like around 700 and something like 730 or something for a tube. I know they have 25 in these tubes but still. Um, I can't get myself to do that. And I don't have the money, so that helps. But, 
So I got that. Um, that's really all the the new, I guess, new silver editions I've got. I did um, Silverfish put up a, a video um, suggesting, or I guess, kind of promoting um, the guy that he uses for his his tubes for storage uh, on Fire Guy on eBay. Uh, I think he put that video up last Wednesday, uh, and I. Honestly, I store this, all my silver right now is being stored in a couple padded envelopes in a cardboard box, so I would, I mean, I know they're all in airtights, which definitely helps, but um, I was kind of wanting to get some tubes to put the airtights in, so, and I needed to get some more airtights anyway, so I went ahead and placed an order. I actually placed the order on Wednesday, and I got them on Friday, so definitely props to them. That was super fast. Um, so I've got um, got a couple couple tubes to put them in. Um, got some more air tights. Got like 30 more air tights. I definitely, I obviously don't need that many air tights. I needed one for this, and I used one on this. But I didn't want to have to pay for shipping when I needed them again. So I just went ahead and picked them up. Um, they're not really that expensive. So um, anyway. That's what I've got. Um, I need you guys to keep doing unboxings because I don't have any money to buy silver. So I'm just going to keep watching your unboxings and pretend like they're mine. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you guys are having a good night. Hopefully, I can make another video this year, this century, and show you some more silver. But in the meantime, here's some more wolves. You see this guy. I promise I don't buy these all the time. I just have these. These are other ones that are in the house. But, uh, anyway. Have a good night, guys. And, uh, talk to you later.